Get yourself something to draw with, and remember to do these drawings, you have to be able to do three simple things, and they are a straight line, a zigzag, or a curvilinear line. Could be an S curve, could be a C curve. Alrighty, and uh, let's just jump right to it because we are running out of time. We gotta get this show on the road. Okay, we are gonna start today's drawing with a nice, simple horizontal line like that, okay? Alrighty, now, then we're going to angle up this away. Alrighty, check it out. Now, I'd say that's about a, uh, hmm, if this is a 90 degree angle, we're gonna go at maybe like a 120 or something like that. So up we go, okay? This line is obviously longer than this one here, so you wanna make sure that you do that. And we're actually gonna come right back down again. Check it out, down we go. I think that's an example of a really nice long zigzag. All right, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna pop out this away, different angle, different angle slightly, okay? See that? And then back down again. Any guesses as to what we're drawing? I wonder if anybody out there knows. All right, now, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it almost a 90 degree angle, but not quite, maybe like 110 degrees. I didn't know you'd be doing so much math when you draw with me, did you? See that? Come back down this way. And we're now gonna cut straight back, okay? Straight back, and we're gonna stop short of this line. Okay, we're stopping short of that line. So this is a little bit reaching out farther to the right than this line is. Okie dokie. Now, here comes a diagonal line. We're gonna take a diagonal line, we're gonna drop it down right here, next to this line, but not touching, okay? Down we go, like that. Eh, <laughs> any guesses? Let's see, clever. Steve, you all are on the ball. You are on the ball. Alrighty, are you ready for a really big, C curve. This is probably the biggest we've ever drawn in any drawing. We're gonna go up and around. Okay, check it out. Make this a little smaller. All right, here we go. All the way up. Okay, need to take a pause, go for it. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take a little pause. And then keep it going. Okay, and notice I stopped here. I didn't go all the way down to level with the bottom of my drawing so far, did I? No, 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 no. Because here, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna angle back slightly like this, okay? Back in this direction to the left. And I'm gonna connect this point and this point. Just go like this, connect those. Hmm. And from this little corner right here, I'm gonna drop a diagonal line this way, okay? and I want it to end about where we are here. Now, to make that simple, I'm gonna draw this line first so I have an end point to aim for. I'm gonna leave some space, like I left some space here. Leave a little space right here, just drop back like that, okay? And now it's easy for me to just go boop, 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 and connect that right there. Okay, alrighty, now, what about the shell of this snail that we're drawing. Here's what you do. You're gonna start at the bottom here and you're gonna come curving up this away and loop around like that in a nice little spiral. So around we go and up. See that? Start here and I go around and up and then I come down and I keep going until I wind up with that. That's probably a really fun thing for you all to draw. It's fun to draw spirals, isn't it? And now, even though we know that typically you're gonna draw little eyes on the snail here, for this snail, since it's a cartoony, cute little snail, we're gonna change it up and we're gonna do this. We're gonna put a little dot there and a little dot there, and then a little pop, pop, zigzag for us right there for the mouth, and that just is extra cute. And you know what's even more cute? I know you didn't see this coming, check it out. Right here, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go bop, like that. And next to it, leave a little space and go bop, same kind of deal, okay? And then I want you to go back, see that? 
back a little ways, and then down. So we go up, out, and back, and then down. But right here, check it out, C curve, up and around, and stop right there. And then remember what we did right here? Remember this? Check it out. Up and around, just like that. And guess what? You've got a cute little baby snail hitching a ride on this bigger snail. And that's just extra cute. Now let's give him some grass. We'll just do this. Line, zigzag, zig, line. Okay? Line, zigzag, zig, line. Come over to this side, line. Zig, zag, zig, line. Okay? And then behind the tail, you could do this uno dos, right? Maybe a line over here, you wanna mix it up. Now you could customize this drawing and make it however you want. You wanna add some more snails, you wanna add a little tree, you wanna add some rocks or anything at all to make it your own. And I think that'll be extra, extra fun. So there you go, that's the draw along portion of the show for today. Hope you enjoyed that.